Hello everyone, I'm Anthony Coffey with CED. Um, I'm the Center and Safety Consultant for CED. I cover the eastern side of the state of Kentucky. One thing we're going to do today is we're going to cover a new product we have, the SIP Safety Area Scanner. But before we do that, I just kind of want to go through and give you a little background of SIP Safety. So one thing that you realize in the past, we used to have an e-stop or a light curtain and that would connect to a safety relay, just a simple safety relay such as the MSR-127. And we still use those today, but what we want to show you, as that system gets more and more complicated, you add more and more products to that. Here we've had to add another safety relay, and then as you go on, you get more and more products. So as you can see, you have multiple e-stops here. Uh, then you add, end up having to add three safety relays, you add a safety mat, so all this wiring can get very um, complicated and complex. So everyone, what we need, we need uptime, up we need diagnostics, flexibility, and we've got to keep everything safe, so we need safety. So what SIP Safety does, and if anyone doesn't know, SIP Safety is actually a common industrial protocol which uses Ethernet IP. So as you can see, we have light curtains here, safety mask, scanner, MAB, which is multi-access box. We've got some drives over here. We've got the PLC up here, <coughs> uh, e-stop, a couple push buttons. So when we integrate SIP safety in this, like I said, we'll talk about this scanner uh, in the future slides. But we have the scanner, the safety mat, the MAB, we can run all this back to a switch and then take it back to a PLC as long as that is a safety processor. Um, so we can leverage existing hardware. We can simplify the wiring. So as you can see here, instead of wiring all this up individually and going back to a junction box or to uh, something different and then going back to the PLC, you can see the Ethernet cable is going to switch and that's going back to the safety processor. So simplify the wiring. We can improve the safety and productivity. And with that being said, what that, where they're going with that is you can actually see all this on the processor without having to go to multiple places and see how that's wired up and what's working, what's not working. And it's easy integration, such as less time for wiring. The products that we've had up till now is the MAB. We've actually had that out for about three years now. The safety SIP or the SIP safety encoder, it actually came out last year. Um, then recently, this year, which back in January, this started shipping, we had the Ethernet SIP safety module for the light curtain. And what you do is you quick disconnect here, and then you have the quick disconnect Ethernet, which runs back to your safety processor. So the SIP safety's pro uh, portfolio is actually moving forward, getting a lot more products. Uh, so now what I'd like to do is go into the safety scanner that just came out. This started shipping out in June. Um, several changes have been made from our old style. But first what we want to do, what is it? Why should you be using it? Where should you use it? When and who? So this is a, actually a picture of the scanner. If you notice, we've actually done the gray and red again. and. Myself, I like that because now all the Allen Bradley products are gray and red. So when you have a safety get or a maintenance guy go out on the line, he knows that's automatically a safety product, which is more than likely a dual channel component. You can select different modes on this. It has four different modes, and with that setting, you can see that you can install them to a certain degree across from each other. Uh, if you haven't worked with these a lot in the past, uh, just to give you some heads up here, if you installed the competitor safety scanner or our older ones across from each other, they would actually interfere with each other, which would cause false triggers. And this is something Alan Bradley's done to try to get around that and not cause those issues. So why is this beneficial? You can program it with Studio 5000. Uh, in the past, we've had separate software for our safety scanners, and that's cumbersome for some people that use Studio 5000 all the time. They have to go back and forth from a different computer or a different type of program. 
It has push buttons to uh, scroll through the menu, as you can see, the different color display screens. Now this is something you have to purchase separate, uh, but most of the time we just configure this with the product. But this is a plug-in module, so it's a quick disconnect. The US, this, this component does have a USB port, but it's disabled. It has status LEDs and then also has network status LEDs. So this will be your Ethernet cable going back to your PLC. Um, replacement optic cover. We've had those on our other ones in the past. Uh, makes it if somebody busts that, keeps you from having to buy a complete unit. So that's a really good feature if you have a lot of forklifts around. Um, a couple of things here, you can see that you got eight fields and we can actually monitor eight of those fields at one time. Uh, the resolution is adjustable from 30 to 200 millimeter. The scanning angle is 270 degree or 75 degrees. Our past ones was 270 degrees, so this gives us a little more angle. And this uh, picture of the red line or red circle, it actually gives you an example of how much area that covers. So really and truly, if you got an operator loading something, then you got a lot of uh, detection there. In the past, we had the mini scanners. Uh, you could get two or three meters in those. Then the larger scanners, you could get five meters. This one here, you can get 5.5, .5, so that gives you a little more distance to make sure you're keeping everything safe. So increased functionality results in expanded application solutions. So by being able to monitor these four zones at the same time, you can have an operator loading here and still not interfere with this side running. So where should it be used? As you can see here, they got a car going through, so like an assembly line uh, at a manufacturing plant, and then conveyance, keeping the operator from being harmed for the products coming in. And then also you can see them on AGVs, mobile applications. And then you, this can actually be used to replace safety mats. Uh, there's a lot of customers that have safety mats, they're a great product. But the thing I see a lot of times is they, they get two or three mats in one location or they get one large mat and really the wiring on that's more cumbersome than this because SIP safety run back through Ethernet. Uh, also the cost effectiveness can be better with a scanner. Like I said, so here's the part number. Uh, I don't really expect anyone to remember this, but our account managers are aware of all the part numbers. Um, you have to buy the module like I stated earlier. So these two products you would have to have. Um, then to help everyone, we all have different needs and different setups. So we actually have four different brackets to help you install this. And that's pretty much everything on the uh, safety scanner. Just a simple review of the SIP safety, what it is. And like I said, SIP safety is it's just Ethernet IP. We call it a common industrial protocol. Um, but if you have any questions on that, like I said, I'm Anthony Coffey with the Technical Resource Center. Uh, get with your account manager. If you need me to come over and talk to you, just let me know and we'll be glad to help.